Welcome to your Tina's channel. So today I'm going to show you how I did my eye makeup, which is based around the yellow tones that are the fashion right now. I'll go through it step by step and I think it looks really festive for the holiday season. I actually wore this to a work dinner and it turned out great. It looks good in all lighting. So stick around and I'll show you step by step what I did. Okay, for the first step, I just used some concealer under my eyes. And then I added my foundation as well in the same place and a few other spots around my, my face. And I just took a blending brush and blended that in. I focus more on my eyes because that's where I have the dark circles. I don't really like this blending brush, it gives me a bit of trouble, so I'll probably buy a beauty blender again. But you can apply your foundation however you prefer. And I like using the two colors for more natural finish. And it prevents having to put on loads of layers. Just make sure everything always blends nicely. Then I took the Wet n Wild palette and I just took a fluffy brush, a little bit wider than normal. And the first thing I took was the yellow color out of the palette. It has a few gold specks, so I really like it. And just apply that to the lid. And you can use any round hair. This is just the one I had. Just all over the lid. And you don't have to worry about it falling anywhere because you can clean that up later. And then I applied one layer of eyeliner with my liquid liner. just to give it the basic shape. I love the Wet n Wild eyeliner as well because it's so easy to go on. And you can go backwards and forwards, which helps <laughs> much easier. I like putting it on in layers so then I can get the thickness I want. And it gets in between all the eyelashes. So after that, I just applied again a bit of the yellow just in the bottom part of my eyelid just to make it a little bit more shiny. Then for the next step, I took the orange color. This one is a matte shade. And I just went backwards and forwards in my crease. Again, you don't have to worry about anything too much because you can always clean up after. Just apply as much as you're comfortable. And I just go backwards and forwards because that gives it a bit more definition. Just blend that however you like. You can have it very defined or very blendy. I like mine a bit more defined. And then I took again a little bit of the gold yellow and just applied it in the center of my lid because I wanted that one to show up more. Okay, just to clean up any fallout. And then I went back with my eyeliner and completed my eyeliner. I don't know what it is, but it just helps it to blend a lot more when you have some eyeshadow in your waterline. Just 
just making sure everything is correct and looking equal in both eyes. You can always go back and fix it. So then I took an angle brush and I took a dark brown color and I just applied that underneath my eyes. And I say I did take a lot more product than usual because I wanted it a bit darker. So there is a bit of fallout, but I find the end results is worth it. Do that on both eyes. And then just clean up anything that falls. Finally, I just applied one layer of the mascara and I'll link all the products below. Just my everyday mascara, just to give it a little bit more pop. Top and bottom lashes. And I just used the blending brush to just clean up anything that fell underneath my eyes there from the makeup. Finally, I took my bronzer. This one is by Unique. And I love this one. I've had it for a long time. It's probably my go-to one. And then just apply it to the cheeks and a little down the center. Just makes me look a lot more alive. And then with the same brush, I took my highlighter from Makeup Revolution. It's also pretty old product, but I think they still have it. And just applied it to the outfit of my cheeks. I love this one, it shines so nicely. And again, down the center. So when I'm done that, I like to blend using my hands because the warmth of your skin, I don't know, it just seems to blend better. And my final touch then is going to be by Milk and it's the color in Work. And just apply that on the lips. And there you are, the final look. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this look. I'll keep posting videos with easy to follow tutorials. And if you like it, please comment and subscribe and give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. Have a good day.